so this is part two of my cooking video. I'm boiling my water and putting it on medium because I don't want it to cook so fast. Taking cheese because my grandma has a lot of cheese. You're precisely going to need a, a lot of cheese and not a lot of milk. And sorry if it's sizzling. Sizzling. It's just. Just taking a spoon and putting some cheese in these. Um, thing I like to break it up into fours, but you don't have to necessarily break it up into fours. Take about two pieces right at this moment. You will need more than two pieces, but just so you get a thick consistency right when you're going to be warming it up. Um, you'll approximately need two pieces of cheese. Putting it in the microwave for about 30, 40 seconds. So I'm just going to put it in for 40 seconds right now and just tidy up my mess from like so. You will need to just stir it up and add milk. This recipe is very easy and it does take a little bit of time to make, but I think it's worth it. Worth it. Worth it. So taking uh, precisely two pieces of cheese. You mean, are you coming to tell me to calm down? Oh, and Grandma, I made a surprise for you, but you can't have it till we eat the cake. Okay. So, just precisely ripping up my cheese. Finally, that's because I put my special ingredients in the cake. Putting it in for the other 16 seconds. I'm just cleaning all my cheese. Milk. You will need like a little cheese thing to so you put your on, but yeah, I didn't even get to eat the bowl yet. Told you this recipe is very time consuming. Can't even eat my bowl. Doing fine. This recipe is actually, um, me and my friend made it up, so we were like, oh, we want some mac and cheese, and we don't want craft. Well, we're using Kraft cheese, but we don't want to make the mac and cheese. We want our own version. So that's what we did. We're making our own version, but I technically came up with this idea. So I'm just putting it back in for another 10 seconds. So here's, here's what the cheese looks like. After four pieces of cheese, you're going to need more than four pieces of cheese. Depending on how many people are eating, you will need more than four pieces. For two people, I used approximately six to seven pieces. Um, no, actually like ten pieces. So I'm going to need about 15 to 20 pieces of cheese for this. So Nathan, I'm making something to eat. a dab of milk. If you add too much milk to this recipe, it will just mess your whole recipe up. So putting that in for 40 more seconds. Because you got to make sure every piece of cheese melts and it's delicious. So taking a little sippy sippy because I'm really thirsty. So 
you have to check this. This is a very thing where you have to check. And the cheese too that gets around actually protects the cheese. I think it's so cute. This recipe is going to be delicious just because I'm having my family members taste it and they're going to love it and they're going to want me to make it every time we make mac and cheese. Ain't that right, Grandma? So, I'm taking another sippy sippy. I'm going to check my water. It's not quite boiling. No, Theo has vitamins for us. So, I know where they are. I'm just listening to the button into their conversation. Nathan, we're about to eat. Well, not precise. And if you don't eat, Nathan, you can't have a piece of my cake or fudge or something I'm making. It's really good. It's better than mac and cheese. Nathan, really, you can't taste something your sister's making. Grandma's gonna taste it. And if you want it thick and creamy, I suggest a lot of cheese. Or not a lot of milk. Taking my little cheese bubble and just popping that open. And the milk does not, you can't, I don't stir the milk in before I put it in. So this is like not enough cheese yet because I'm really good at this and. And my grandma said eat up all of her cheese because she has three more packs. So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to end up using the rest of this pack. So that's actually really good because this recipe is actually delicious. And like, I would eat this all day every day if I could. Putting that in for another 18 seconds because that's what was left on my clock. Taking a cake break. My water's not quite, not quite, not quite bubbling yet. See my cheese hernal, my cheese hernal. Look how sweet this is, Grandma. My cheese hernal. So this is what it looks like after pieces and pieces and pieces. So I kind of just take it along the edges and kind of just get all of it off and fix it. And I recall this recipe actually the best mac and cheese I've I, I think it beats Velveeta. And Velveeta is awesome. Kind of like more milk. Milk isn't actually You guys probably seen him. He was in my um, sister does brothers makeup and brother does sister makeup. He was in those two videos. 
Go watch him. I will link him down below if I can find the right code. So just my YouTube. Name. Cheese hernal. Right there. Grandma, look at my cheese hernal. It looks like it's gonna fall out of the dish. It's not. So here's my cheese hernal. Oh yeah. This is going to be. Moves. I told you I didn't have a cover. I was hoping it's right there. Is that it on top of there? Inside. Underneath. Right there. Sorry. Sorry for the background. I'm gonna find the crossbow. Still not cheese. I'm just going to melt so many pieces of cheese. No, 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 I got him. Let him sleep till food's done. Putting that in for another 20 seconds. I'm awesome. So I'm changing my little cheese thing because that one was full of cheese. And you, you should actually change your stationing for where you're putting your spoon at because it just makes it even cooler. So I'm going to do a part two because part three.